The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So we have heard the Gospel quite clearly. And so we ask ourselves, what is love? Ano bang pag-ibig? And maybe you ask me also the question, are you serious, Father? This very early in the morning, you're asking us what love is. Eh, hindi pa nga namin naisip kung anong uulamin namin ngayong almusal. Hindi pa nga tayo nakapagkape. No? At uh, pag-ibig na kaagad ang pag-uusapan natin. Seriously. Siguro marahin sabihin niyo na lang sa akin, Father, i-google na lang natin. No? Siguro mas uh, malilinawan, malilinawan tayo, makukuha natin ang sagot na gusto natin. Kung ano ba talaga ang pag-ibig. And yes, this very early morning, when I woke up, I went to the computer and typed the word love in Google. And what happened? I got 11 billion 670 million results in 0.6 seconds second no? in less than a second google gave me results about love simple no? four letter word 11 billion 670 million results and what does that mean no topics or results about love no? if you google that no could be more than the entire population of the world. Do, ilan ba tayo lahat sa buong mundo? No, marami nang nabawas sa atin dahil sa pandemya ito. But still, there's still about or more than 7 billion of us no, in the world. And uh, compared no, the population of the world to the topic or the results of uh, about love, no, there is about one and a half no, results about love compared to the population or entire population of the world. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Mas marami no, ang paksa o maraming uh, tema tungkol sa pag-ibig kesa sa tao sa buong mundo. And simply it means, no, we cannot really define love no, this very early morning no, in simple words. No, hindi naman talaga natin maunawaan o hindi natin masasakop no, kung ano talaga ang buong katotohanan tungkol sa pag-ibig kapag uh, ito lang ang panahon na uh, ating uh, iilalaan. Because love, although it is very wide, no, it is indefinable. Ibig sabihin, there is no limits. There are no limits no, to, uh, to contain or to define love because love is limitless. And yet, there is still a way no, that we can explain or illustrate or define love. How? By our own experience. Kaya nga kapag ka, sineryoso ninyo ang tanong ko at sinagot ninyo ako kung ano ang pag-ibig, no, kung meron tayong dalawang daang tao na rito ngayon, no, there will be 200 different answers about love no, that I ask you that, uh, about the very simple question. No, ganun din no, sa mga nakikinig sa atin at sumasama sa atin by a live stream no, if they type no, about their own definition of love no, in the so, comment section no, there will be no, as many no, as we are listening right now no, definitions of love so 
Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Ang pag-ibig ay hindi natin kaya hawakan, hindi natin kaya idikta, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na kung ano lang ang alam ko ay ito na dapat ang katotohanan. We cannot uh, monopolize no, the definition of love. So why are we taking this topic up today? Actually, hindi ko naman kagustuhan no, na pag-usapan natin itong pag-ibig o pagmamahal no, sa napakaagang uh, oras na ito ng araw. No? But actually, ang paksa ng pag-ibig ay siyang namumutawi no? sa mga pagbasa natin sa Ibanghelyo sa buong linggong ito. No? Kung kayo ay sumusubaybay, kung kayo nakikisama at nakikisa sa mga misa natin araw-araw mula nung linggo hanggang ngayon, hanggang bukas, hanggang matapos ang linggong ito, no? iisa lamang no? ang uh, nananalaytay no? na tema na ma, 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 makukuha natin. At ito yung tema ng pag-ibig. It's all about love. No? On Sunday, we started with Jesus telling us, if you keep my command, remain in me and remain in my love. And if you remain in my love, I will remain in you. And this is my commandment. No? Jesus followed it up, that you love one another. And today, it is the same theme that we have. At the very first verse no, of the gospel today, Jesus is already asking us, Love. This is my commandment, that you love one another. Sumalit may kakaiba sa araw na ito. May kakaibang elemento na idinagdag ang ating Panginoon tungkol sa paksa ng pag-ibig. At ano iyon? No? Hindi lamang niya iniutos ang pag-ibig. No? If, if the greatest of all commandment is about love, loving God and loving the neighbor, then Jesus infused something very important. No? Kakaiba. Kakaiba doon sa kanyang utos. Sapagkat hindi lamang niya iniutos ang pag-ibig, kanyang ipinakita, kanyang ipinamalas ang halimbawa kung paano umibig. So Jesus is not only commanding us to love in the gospel today, but Jesus is actually showing us how to love. When he said, this is my commandment, that you love one another. And then after that, he said, as I love you, katulad ng pagmamahal ko sa inyo. Marahil alam ng Panginoon na hirap na hirap tayo kung paano sundin ang utos na magmahal. No? Since the time of Moses, no, God gave the commandment and the first of the commandments is to love God. And yet, we fall short. No? Pagkulang pa rin tayo sa pagmamahal sa Diyos. Mahalin ang ating kapwa, kulang pa rin. At marahil ay marahil hindi natin talaga na isagawa ng mabuti. At sa araw na ito, ang sabi ng Panginoon, ibibigay ko sa inyo ang halimbawa kung paano magmahal. So, hindi ko lamang ito inuutos. Ito ay aking ipapamalas at ipapakita sa inyo, katulad ng pagmamahal ko sa inyo. And Jesus was saying this, no, on the table, while they were on the table, around the table, the, during the Last Supper, katatapos lang umalis ni Judas, and Jesus told them, love one another as I have loved you. And then he said, another very important element, maybe a new element in the commandment of love, because there is no greater love than for one to lay down his life for his friends. This is the greatest kind of love. If you are able to lay down your life for your friends. And then immediately Jesus followed that up. I I call you friends. I call you my friends. Jesus was talking about love. Jesus was talking about friendship in the midst of betrayal. He was just betrayed by Judas. And yet, Jesus was not only speaking of something that is abstract. A very, uh, uh, a while ago, no moment ago, Jesus just told them and left them a very important memory something that they can hold on to, that's something they can do over and over again. When he said to them, this bread and this wine is my body and my blood. And I give it to you. And always remember to do this in memory of me in the Last Supper. And yet, Jesus also proved you know, his very own experience of love with us. Because the very love that Jesus gave us, the very definition of Jesus about love, is His experience with us. 
And what is the experience of Jesus about love with us? Dying on the cross for us. So in the next 24 hours after Jesus spoke this though, to his disciples, he, he kept that promise that I will offer my life for my friends because this is the greatest love. No greater love can be than for one to lay down his life for his friends. Jesus gave us the very definition of love that we be able to sacrifice even your very own life for your friends. Who are the friends of Jesus? Wala siyang pinili. O wala siyang, wala siyang iwinaksi. No? All of us. That's why he said, I chose you. You did not choose me to be your friend. Judas did not choose me to be, to be his friend. He betrayed me. And many who did not follow me refused to be my followers and refused to be my friends. They did not choose me. Maybe some of us did not choose Jesus. But then Jesus tells us, I chose you. It is my choice. Ako ang decision para ituring kayo bilang mga kaibigan ko. And being my friends, you are no longer slaves. You are no longer strangers to me. And because you are my friends, because of my own choosing, I am going to offer my very own life to you, my friends the greatest love that can ever be. And this is what the commandment is all about. No? This is not just about a tall order. No? Na pinabayaan na tayo ng Diyos, sinabi lang niya sa atin, magmahalan kayo. Hindi. Itinuro sa atin ng Diyos kung paano magmahal. Hindi lamang siya nagutos sa atin. Love one another. How? As I have loved you. And then, how is that love of Jesus being shown to us concretely? Jesus opened his arms and died on the cross for us.